will never forget when Malcolm X was assassinated. I will never forget when Martin Luther King was assassinated. I will never forget when John F. Kennedy died and Robert Kennedy was assassinated. There was the emotional lamentation that went on in the family. In fact, I thought as a small child that a family member had died. I was seven years old going on eight. So as a child, you know, I'm remembering it more from the emotional impact of it all. I remember the bombing of the church where little girls a little bit older than I were killed. It, it became very real real quick when I watched how much my, my family was suffering from what was going on. Growing up as a Baha'i during that turbulent decade of the 1960s, laid a foundation of hope for me. If it, if it weren't for the Baha'i Faith, I would have no hope even to this day that there could ever be anything close to unity between the races, that there could ever be a thing called justice for peoples of color. I, I would not believe it. I have no evidence that long-lasting change would ever happen if I didn't have Baha'u'llah's teachings on the subject. And so the way in which I experienced just a glimmer of hope realized as a child was the fact that I was able to be involved in a lot of interracial meetings. Whites and blacks together. That was the other side of my childhood. The integrated nature of everything. Were the people perfect? No. Did they get it right all the time? No. But that was in sharp contrast to the backdrop of chaos and uh, racist behavior that surrounded me everywhere, including my school. My elementary school was the worst. Every single day, I heard the N-word. Every single day, somebody black was called the N-word. And it became very, very clear to me that I was never going to be seen accurately. And I had a lot of anger towards whites because of that. All my teachers were white. All the administrators at my school were white. So the only glimmer of hope were the few white believers that were in any Baha'i gathering I happened to be in. The effort was there. The effort to try was there. And that's where the hope began in my heart. It began with seeing people trying, making the effort, not always being as successful as they would like to be. But that was the only integrated world I lived in at the time, was the Baha'i world. Everything else in the secular world, in my town in the Midwest, was completely segregated.